we've hit 1,000 subscribers thanks to Bobby, Maggie, oh. Dolly, and Peggy's been getting quite a few views these last couple of uh, weeks. Yes, you have, Peggy. People have liked you a lot. So, we've got flowers, we've got sunflowers, we've got our pond. We did have lots of uh, tadpoles, no, there was toadpoles in there, but they all went. Flowers, flowers, fields and deer. That is what you will see here. Oh, nice little rhyme. Well, we've got a new patio going here, old Yorkstone that my great uncle, who was, an, who was an SAS veteran, sadly passed away four years ago now. He bought this stone, which was an old church floor after, I do think. So, we got that. We got our garden. We was watching green woodpeckers just down here earlier. We got the deer in the garden. We got an apple tree. We got an oak tree. The oak tree has, well, we've uh, mostly, we had a lot of acorns last year. A squirrel took quite a lot of time hiding all his acorns. Then this past, past month or so, finding lots of little holes down there where he's been digging them up. Great memory, squirrels. I don't mind the squirrels. I'd like to us to have red squirrels. We did used to. I think the last one was found dead on a road here. It might have been 50, 60 years ago. So I'd love to have uh, uh, red squirrels, but we've got the greys. They are quite amusing. I think they do live up in that tree. Over, where are you looking? Over there in the woods behind us. There are a lot of traps for the squirrels. A lot of traps. So a lot do die. There's gamekeepers over there. But yeah, they do. They don't like them, so I do get wiped out a lot. Buzzards up in the sky, I've been watching a young buzzard. He perches on, is that him? No, no we'd be hearing him. But he perches on the electricity pylon, see him flying about. Uh, we don't get, well we've got the sparrowhawk. Get the sparrowhawk come through in the garden. He takes out the little birds if he can. Maggie hasn't had a bird for a while. Bob, I let the dogs out about half five this morning and a squirrel was on the bird feeders on there. I didn't see him, but he ran, and then there was quite a lot of commotion all around here. I shouted at Dolly because I think she she nearly had him or she had him. She let go, and he ran up and along. He ran around there, then he should have just gone that way because I usually go along the fence. But, yes, uh, he got away with that. That'll be a hole that Bob has dug. Got new trees going in. This was uh, scrapes. We've got the new grass. Oak tree. Rose. Rose. Here is my corn. Customer give it to me. That's gone in there. Did have some last year, but that got eaten. I think it was a deer eat. No, yes. Yeah, I think it was a deer. So we've got some nice, nice size apples on there. Can you see, can you see? Probably not very well, but yeah, there you go. Apples on here. Bit of a wild spot. Let's get, that. we let that grow. I would leave most of the grass grown just with paths, but not my, not my choice. And then we have, this is where my old dog Red is buried. Under the apple tree, not under the mound. So he's got some, yeah, no. something diseased. So they are, they might get one or two off of there. No, the deer ain't destroyed it. And that is great Uncle Tommy. Uh, that mound come out of that, just uh, yeah, Santa Lena. We got golden delicious, nothing on there yet. A few more fruit trees. So, uh, it's you, well, I think you only need five fruit trees for it to be classed as an orchard. So, a couple of orchards. 
the other side of a fence is an orchard. It does usually have uh, sheep in there, but not at the moment. I do like this bench. Sit out, see, all the birds there. And when the plants was a bit lower, I could see all the birds the other side as well. What we got is this. I don't know if this is a fruit tree, it probably is a fruit tree, but I don't know. So, did have a shed there, nice load of brambles, good for the wildlife and for the blackberries. So, that was left. Get a lot of toads, I have got to build my toadery under there. You can see here, base. Ants have just completely decimated, well, they haven't decimated, they've just uh, used that to build outwards, I suppose. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Bob. Uh, well, let's go this way, because this way, I cleaned the patio and I left the plants growing through it. I think that's a budlier. Let's see. Oh, no, not chopping. They are wonderful for the pollinators. We've got, so yeah, I should point that out oh, while we're here. See, one sunflower growing, another one chewed. Yeah, that was the deer. So let's see what we've got up here. Step up. Now I don't know, will we be able to see? Probably not. No. Well, anyway, we've got a bee's nest up there. I haven't seen the swarm yet, but there are two holes, and I'm not too sure if they are bees or... They look different from what they was last year. So, I don't know. But I will have to do an inspection. But yeah, so we had, uh, they've been about for the last... Well, it's quite a lot of years, so I'd like to take the little roof off uh, the window and have a look under there and see what is there, because I think it'll be quite spectacular. have found a slow worm under here, so we will have a look. No, woodlouse, no slow worm. But, I do have another spot down here. The deer love uh, eating the apples under there. Got mistletoe there. This is, uh, that does say Hector. He died 2008. He was a good old boy. He was border terrier. So you can see, deer jump through there. Deer jump through there. And a deer jump through there. That's, they are good jumpers. Yeah. So, another apple tree. We'll go through because the grass has been, grass has been flattened by the deer. Let they rest under here. And yeah, ant mound. Right. There was a slow worm under here earlier. Oh, nothing. Ants. Lots of ants. So, yeah, I have seen a slow worm under there earlier. Get the deer in here. Lots of flowers. Uh, get a lot, well, I'll get the fox in him down the bottom. I have seen a badger down the bottom. And then we go around. That's all gorse. And uh, a couple of monk jack live in the middle of it. Do hear them calling, like a loud bark. And then uh, you've got another wood, and then uh, pine wood at the back, which uh, that'll be coming down soon. So, yeah. Giving you a little walk around 
proper garden. So, thanks for checking out. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, you know the score. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.